Hey y'all, Wacky Warmer here with another episode of my Greg Tech New Horizons playthrough. Last episode we worked on our iron tools. You can see them all here. I placed a chest down beside our crafting station that we were able to make with the new saw we had. And that's going to be really for convenience's sake. Uh, having these tools all accessible right here from the crafting grid is going to be very helpful. Greg Tech's all about efficiency and this is one of those little things that can help you out a lot. In between episodes... I've been doing a lot of exploring. In fact, let me show you kind of journey map. And uh, this is as far as I can zoom out. And you see I've wandered around uh, pretty far. I've only found a couple of interesting things, honestly. Uh, you can see the Applied Energistics 2 Meteor here. And you can see I've marked, I marked them as brick houses, but these are actually dungeons. But the uh, kind of the, the top of the dungeon is a brick house. And that's going to be useful for acquiring some bricks uh, for the steam age that otherwise would be a little bit of a pain to craft the thing that's really going to be a pain to craft because i have not found it in the world yet is a village and in particular a smeltery uh, you can see i found no villages in all of this exploration that i've done so we're going to be crafting that smeltery by hand which is fine but i was hoping to loot it from the village some of the other things that i've collected in my journeys off camera I've been working on the iron mine that's right behind the house here. And I've processed a decent amount of iron. Uh, I've smelted some cobblestone into stone. That's Remember, that's useful for the um, mortar recipe, right? Uh, the malachite that was in the iron mine behind us uh, smelts in the copper. And I just realized that pretty recently. So we've gotten a little bit of a start on the copper required for the steam age. But this is far, far short of what we're going to need. In my explorations, I've also killed off all the cows I've come across and collected all the leather from that. Uh, and we're going to be using that this episode, actually. And then I've also uh, planted some wheat. Remember, that comes from using your mattock on grass tiles, right? And you get witchery seeds, but you can also get cotton seeds and wheat seeds. And so I've been harvesting that. Uh, I have a plan for that this episode as well. And then one other thing I wanted to point out too is this crushed silver ore. This came out of my iron mine actually. And this is a great example of one of those uh, small ores that 90% of the time you want to skip over. Uh, but 10% of the time give you access to materials that uh, would take a while to get to. This silver ores and, and silver veins are only available in at least the twilight forest if not later. They're not in the overworld for sure. They're available in Twilight Forest and they might be available on some planets. I'm not sure. But this is the only access we have to silver right now is getting it from random small ores. Uh, kind of likewise with aluminum gravel ore. It's a little bit of a different story. Those veins are present on the overworld, but we can't process aluminum yet until we get to the uh, electric blast furnace, which is a ways away. Uh, but we can process this aluminum gravel ore. Uh, we can smelt it in the smeltery uh, and pour out aluminum ingots from it. And that's going to be our first access to aluminum uh, for quite a while. So be sure and snatch up as much of that stuff as you can. But otherwise, skip over the small ores because they're definitely not worth it. Okay, so uh, the thing I kind of want to prioritize this episode is if we look at... Yep, the Stone Age here, and sleeping outside, right? This sleeping bag is absolutely necessary to uh, avoiding being stuck at night in a mine or out exploring or whatever. Uh, doing all that exploration I did was quite a pain without the sleeping bag, so I want to work on that. So we're going to work through uh, this recipe or this quest here. We're going to start here with the drying rack. So this is gonna take our screwdriver, some wood screws, and some slabs. So let's go ahead and jump in here and let's process some wood. Uh, that ought to do it. And then it's up to you whether to use the saw or not. It makes the recipe more efficient, but obviously I'm using up iron and wood is a fairly cheap resource at this point, right? So it's really up to you on what you wanna do with that. Uh, let's see, we need to make some screwdrivers. Oh, uh, actually, the screwdrivers are made with sticks. So let's craft up just a few more sticks. And then we'll take the file. Nope, we'll take the saw and make short wood sticks. 
Uh, and then this is use, you, we use the file here to make wood screws. Okay, so that gives us our wood screws. We also needed slabs, right? And that's just planks and a saw in that configuration. Uh, we'll do 12. I don't really know how many we need. Uh, and then lastly, we need our screwdriver. Okay, easy enough. So screws, slabs, and then our screwdriver. And that gives us four drying racks. I just kind of looked up on having all the right quantities there, so that was kind of nice. And then uh, we just need to place these. It doesn't really matter where. This will work for now. I really need to work on my organization here. It's not good. Uh, okay. And then next we're going to grab some cotton and leather. And then we look at this bound leather recipe. And this is expensive, right? If we look at, uh, let's look at the quest itself, right? For So we need three tanned leather for this quest. Tanned leather is just bound leather on the drying rack. And then bound leather is this guy right here, which is four pieces of leather per bound leather, right? Uh, so this is this is a, quite a recipe. In fact, can we, uh, let's just add, oh, I already did. Okay, and that gives us access to that recipe from here. Uh, I've also got a little more cotton and I have a stack of string somewhere. There we go. And this stack of string was just crafted from the cotton that I've harvested. I've been very busy harvesting lots of cotton, as you can tell. So let's craft this up. We'll just go ahead and take all those because I'm sure we'll need it. Um, and then we need more string for this. Uh, let's do 10. That's probably not enough. Let's do the rest of it. That gets us 20. There we go. And then we put this on the drying rack. Oops. All right. And then I've got a little bit left over, which is fine. I'll just store that back there. Uh, okay. And then the other thing I want to work on is while that's kind of sitting on the drying rack, because it takes quite a while. Yeah, you can see it's only 3% done at this point. So it takes quite a while. The other thing I want to work on is the, uh, I keep pulling up the wrong window. The Pam's Harvest Craft, uh, is it Animal Trap in this version? Yes, it is. It was the Ground Trap at one point, but now it's the Animal Trap. I want to work on this. I want to have a way of collecting the animal resources uh, and not both not have to have a farm, uh, of you know cows and sheep and and all that good stuff but also there's a couple of extra resources you get in there that you don't get from killing those things like bones right so i want to work on this i want to get a fair amount of these so let's uh let's just target eight for right now right so we need eight chests uh which means we're going to need eight flint which i have exactly enough of actually and then uh, 8 times 4 is 32. So we need uh, 32 uh, planks here, which I am not doing this math. Uh, that's plenty. And then I need a little bit more on the oak log situation. There we go. So uh, one thing. We grab our chest here. There's our eight chests. Uh, we're going to need uh, three string per, so that's 24 string. Do I already have that? I don't know if I put string up already or not. I think I might have. Uh, there's two. We need, so that's 23 string, 24 string. Okay, done. Uh, we'll need a bunch of sticks, which is not a big deal. And then we need the trap door, which is more flint, sticks, and slabs. So we need eight of these trap doors. Uh, we could actually use some iron and do this recipe four times. Let's do that just to make some iron screws. So we need 
Uh, four iron ingots. One, two, three, four. We're going to file those down into iron rods. We split the iron rods with the saw. And then we file somehow file these iron bolts back together into a screw. I don't know what that process actually looks like. But that's going to get us that. And then we're going to need some slabs. Uh, how many slabs are we going to need? We're doing this recipe uh, four times. Four for each two. So that's two. So we need eight slabs. I think that was wrong. I think I need more than that. Let's just do the whole thing. Uh, and then finally sticks. Uh, let's just grab this fir wood here. We'll craft all this in the sticks. And then there we go. Uh, oh yeah, we need the flint too. We'll grab us some flint. We're still using the flint matic, right? Uh, so still want to be pretty conscious about the flint that I'm using. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Which is it? Sticks in the cardinal directions. And then slabs here. Cool. So that was one extra. And then that's everything we need for four. Uh, I thought I was crafting eight. What did I end up short on? Oh, I just did the wrong recipe. That's why. All right, we'll start with four. That's not a big deal. Oops, it's dark. Okay, and then I'm going to lay these traps down. I'm actually going to do it probably right here. And then the way you want to lay these traps down is kind of in a zigzaggy pattern. So there, 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 and there. And the reason you want to do it like this is because they have uh, certain requirements about the land around them. So it needs grass blocks in each of the four cardinal directions, right, left, right, up, and down. And then in one of those directions, it needs an extra block, right? So I, I've got a lot of extra here. Um, but in one of those directions, you want to have two grass blocks. It doesn't matter about this side or this side. Just pick one, have two extra. So if I would have made eight, I would have done a similar zigzag pattern here. But then you don't want to really like box it in because you want to have those two extra blocks. All right, cool. And then the last thing we need to craft for this to work is our bait. And this is what we've been keeping the grain uh, or the wheat for. So I'm going to need a bunch more string. And then I'm going to grab this wheat here. And then let's just craft up everything we've got. And then toss it in here. And then it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to split these up pretty evenly. And then I don't really know, not that we have any chance of automating any of this anytime soon, um, but I do recall these being pretty anti-automation. Like, I don't, I don't recall being able to actually pull items out of them, and obviously they have pretty limited slots, and things don't stack in here. So it is something that's going to have to be checked often. But hopefully it'll be a nice little passive, kind of, kind of passive farm for some of that stuff. And it's something that with the cotton and the wheat we're growing we can easily keep it stocked up on materials. Uh, cool. So our leather is still at only 65 ish percent done. So we're still waiting on that. And I believe, uh, the wool and the carpet actually, do we have wool? I might be, yeah, I'm actually pretty short on wool. So I'm going to go out and collect a few sheep. And so we have the wool we need to finish out this recipe, and I'll be right back. All right, so I just got back from searching for and killing a lot of different sheep. It took quite a while to find all the sheep I needed, uh, which was a little unfortunate, but we're here. And uh, so, yeah, let's check the quest book and then check uh, this. So we're fully complete with the tan leather recipe. And then now we check this, we just need to make the carpet and then the sleeping bag. 
And I think carpet is still, yeah, it's still this recipe. So we need three carpet. And then now we can make our sleeping bag. There we go. And so this is going to be incredibly useful for sleeping as we're exploring and as we're down in the mines. You don't want it to get dark up, up top and then have stuff start dropping down into your mines and attacking you. That just sucks. So uh, this is definitely going to be useful and it's going to help me continue to explore and hopefully find a village. Although we might give up on that in the short term. We'll see. All right, cool. Well, thanks for following along. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.